Henri Cherrier's Papillon is a captivating memoir that recounts the author's experiences as a prisoner in the infamous French penal colony of Devil's Island. The book is an unflinching account of the brutal conditions that prisoners were subjected to and the tenacity of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Cherrier's writing is clear and concise, and he has a talent for conveying the stark realities of prison life without becoming overly graphic. The book's pacing is excellent, with Cherrier striking a balance between introspection and action that keeps the reader engaged throughout. His use of vivid imagery and descriptive language allows readers to visualize the harsh conditions and bleak landscape of the prison. The book's themes are numerous and complex, ranging from the importance of friendship and camaraderie to the human desire for freedom and autonomy. At its core, Papillon is a story about the indomitable human spirit and the will to survive in the face of overwhelming odds. One of the central themes of the book is the importance of human connection and friendship. Throughout his incarceration, Cherrier forms close bonds with a number of fellow prisoners, including the titular Papillon. These relationships sustain him through the long years of captivity and give him a sense of purpose and belonging. Cherrier's descriptions of the relationships between prisoners are touching and poignant, underscoring the human need for social connection and the desire to be part of a community. Another important theme of the book is the human desire for freedom and autonomy. Cherrier's determination to escape from the prison and regain his freedom is a driving force throughout the narrative. His attempts to escape are harrowing and fraught with danger, but they are also a testament to the human spirit's resilience and tenacity. The author's descriptions of the physical and mental toll of his escape attempts are vivid and gripping, drawing readers into the story and immersing them in the world of the prison. Cherrier also explores the corrupt and inhumane nature of the penal system in Papillon. The author describes the brutal treatment of prisoners, including beatings and forced labor, and exposes the corrupt and exploitative nature of the prison authorities. Through his writing, Cherrier highlights the injustice and cruelty of the prison system and underscores the need for reform and change. In addition to these themes, Papillon is also a study in character development. Over the course of the book, Cherrier undergoes a profound transformation, both physically and mentally. He grows from a young, impetuous criminal into a mature and reflective individual, whose experiences have given him a deep sense of empathy and understanding. The author's introspection and self-reflection are particularly striking, as he examines his own motivations and actions and seeks to make sense of the events that have shaped his life. Finally, it is worth noting that Papillon is a book that transcends its genre. While it is often categorized as a prison memoir or adventure story, it is also a work of literature in its own right. Cherrier's writing is poetic and evocative, imbuing even the most mundane details with a sense of significance and beauty. The book's universal themes and timeless message make it a classic of world literature that resonates with readers of all ages and backgrounds. In conclusion, Papillon is a powerful and thought-provoking book that explores the human condition in all its complexity. Through his vivid and gripping writing, Cherrier illuminates the universal themes of friendship, freedom, and justice while also telling a compelling and deeply personal story. 
The book's enduring popularity and critical acclaim are a testament to its lasting impact and importance as a work of literature.